We're going to do an example of limits using a common denominator. I want to solve this limit problem. So let's do what I say every time. Let's just plug in this number and see if it works. Let's plug in 3 for x. So on the top, I'd get 1 third minus 1 third over 3 minus 3. That's going to be 0 on top, 0 on the bottom, 0 over 0. You know what that means. That means we have to do algebra. Okay. Now, what algebra technique am I going to use on this? I see two fractions on the top. That means I want to get a common denominator. So I want to combine these two fractions into one. And I do that by cross multiplying. I'll show you what I mean. I do one in the numerator times three in the denominator. I am cross multiplying. So that'll be three. I keep the minus sign in the middle. I cross multiply x times one is x. And then I multiply the denominators together. So three times x is 3x. That's the fast way to get a common denominator. And that's still all over x minus 3. So I can clean this up a little bit. If you think about this as x minus 3 all over 1, I have a fraction over a fraction. That means I flip and multiply. And this is going to be 3 minus x times 1 over 3x, x minus 3. And if you notice, the numerator and this x minus 3 are very similar. They're just off by a negative sign. I'm going to factor out a negative on top and make that x minus 3. And now I have x minus 3 over x minus 3. They cancel. I get a negative 1 on top, 3x on the bottom. I can now evaluate this limit at x going to 3. And I'll get 1 over... 3 times 3 is 1 ninth.